alafu beshte yako sana did for me my first ever interview uh-huh. history acha nikupe history sijai piga mahali history sana kaniuliza vizuri kwa radio do you have a girlfriend sasa mimi sinaona kina Liliway nini nianza kuwaona kina 50 cent mm-hmm. maji wote wenye naona wanasema anga wako single la wana Why? lakini najua wana konayo kumbe hao ni maji bro huku Kenya ni real life real team <laughs> so mimi <laughs> nasema sina nasema uko na mtu si so soon oh hiyo time uko na so soon tayari bro video ya Tichi Lucas alikam ku shoot akaniambia watu wamesikia ingoma for long Lucas ni ogopa DJs My first video was blessed by Ogopa DJs. No wonder me I, I just think I was meant to be. Wow, but is your boy the Chiaba no got the top Oga mm. Obina. Welcome to Kula Kula Show. It's another Lumpshas episode and yes, we are still at Miale 72 Lounge in Lavington. Best place to be. Amazing meals. They have ample parking space. The security is on point. They have a car wash on site. Na pia kuna taka privacy. This is the place to be. Tunakujanga hapa kwa sababu cha kula zao, mankuli zao ziko nzuri. Magest wale mimi wanawaleta they keep on insisting oh kuku kuku but wana mlo zingine nyingi sana ambazo unaweza kufurahia kama una baby shower una birthday party ama ni club tu unakuja sherehe this is the place to be the guest for this particular episode is an old time friend of mine we've done so many shows okay club shows with this gentleman and he always comes through he's laid back na ni jamaa wa kaptula kidogo ame change look excuse ana vatroza tuko like hey what's happening mm-hmm. ladies and gentlemen boys and girls the legend himself kendrezi t c mr semati kendrezi atakufundisha yani atakutichi eh tarudishe back to a seven alafu umesema story ya mashon kakumbuka do you know you are the you are the you are the num yani wewe yeah. kwa shows za tao tukiongelea uh-huh. Nairobi tao CBD yes wewe ndo shani ilipa domo sana kukua pia kwa club yani unaniambia rezi kuja appearance hmm. lakini doni hii Eh eh. Mm. Kwani watu wengine walikuwa nakulipa na chakula. <laughs> Asi na chakula, sisemi na chakula. <laughs> eh. Walikuwa na come through ndio. Yeah. But wali ni ta appearance, haikukuwa lazima nishike mic na ukanipea eti tao. Sijiko unakumbuka. Mm. Alafu like, nikakuja na so soon juu ulikuwa ume come through sana so. Sasa <laughs> <laughs> tukam chi. <laughs> really? so I, I got two at the price of one. <laughs> ulikuwa so, like so, baby. Uh, so yes. so hiyo hiyo ni mwana nikwambie kwa city ilikuwa kitambo. Hizo times za marumas nini? For real. Eh yeah, bado mfanye hizo vitu za club. Ukaita kama after kuambia nda kama na yeye ukaita kama love and rap something. Ah. Mm. No, That was club rumors. Ni ndio maana not necessary if you want to club show ukitaka shika mic lakini mimi nimewaita mchili and niliku respect sana for that juu ulikuwa beshte yangu it wasn't wajua mabeshte siko ba mbona mabeshte utakiana for granted i know and they also take advantage <laughs> like crazy crazy mm. mjua bana crazy crazy kama mtakupatia mzinga unaona so nili ni respect sana hiyo move na from then yani mimi na kuanga nimekuweka place nyingine from the friendship zone to another Asante man mm. I didn't know so personally what I normally do is this if you are around me or we are we know each other or you just do something nice mm-hmm. I'll always find a way to put bread on your table yeah. you might be my friend or a stranger but mm-hmm. if we are in the same business me yeah. stay kanya game same mgini alafu me I'll not sit in the boardroom or pitch for something and say me unataka kupeana nini ngapi wacha nimfinye hivi I'll always just give you I'm like bro indo iko mm-hmm. tufanye hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi And thank you that you came. Mm-hmm. And I think sure. after that we've had many other Vitu things we've done so many yeah, other naturally things. things just come. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Asante man umekuwa real. Nashukuru. I wanted to ask you. Mm-hmm. I don't know you maybe I've asked you this thing before. Kuna siku kiwa high school umeenda maseno school ku for funky ama something. Yeah. Ama sports day. Yeah, you know me my my talent even started in high school. Mimi nilikuwa St. Mary's Yala. Mlikuwa mnavanga topi ya white. Yes na shati na sote ya gray kuna time mm. tulikuwa sports day maseno school kitambo mm-hmm. bake nini nini everything your time i think bake. i think i think usilete kompe was big mm-hmm. then there's this guy i've always thought it's you tulikuwa kwa boardroom tuna rap kwa dining room tuna rap ya maseno school mm-hmm. u boys aka come aka flow na baadaye nikasikia tichi nikasema Isn't those little lines sule boy alikuwa anasema so I've always thought maybe it was you <laughs> that's him alikuwa mimi cause you know, you know mimi from 
nikiingia form 1 nilikuwa nilikuwa na work custody custody ni ukiingia chuo ukiwa custody utafanya job nyingine uta mop hizo vitu form form 1 sufanya yeah. so custody ni place ya my dining hall prefect wewe kazi yako ni kuwa serve <laughs> kazi yako ni kuwa serve ah. na kuosha hizo plates zao. Alafu hakuna job nyingine unafanya chuo. Na custody prefix wa St Mary Zialo alikuwa sawa anacheza ruge. Jio chuo tu kunajulikana for rugby kuna shinda baka nationals. Custody. Sasa maseno tulikuwa tukiwapiga ruge, hao nao wanatupiga bake. Eh hey, maseno bake. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, there was bake. something. Sasa so nani, that might be you because so you are there. Mimi from one tayari nilikuwa naenda outing yoyote yenye St Mary's yale ilikuwa inaenda juu tayari nilikuwa nishaje establish kama msanii wa chuo. Teach niliandika nikiwa form 2. Lakini nikakaa nikirecord even after kumaliza. Yeah. So every chance I got with an environment yenye St Mary's yale na sijui machuo gani zingine nilikuwa na rap teach. It was you. Na ukisema bro. maseno lazima ilikuwa mimi. Bro it was you. Hiyo mm. kitu wamenisumbua. Tu ulikabro <laughs> ulituosha. Unajua si tulikuwa wale marapa wale ma. Ye 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 tukapiga marap. Alafu kidogo kidogo someone said kuna uboy kuna uboy. Alikuwa amevaa t-shirt ya white. Mm-hmm. Au kumefunga tie. Bas. Uka flow maze au maboy wa maseno alafu ni venue wale. Alafu unajua outing. Outing ukikuja outing lazima ni shati safi. Ilikuwa safi na ilikuwa white. Bro ulifunika. Tuko zile za hii. Ye nikasema bro drawing board drawing board. T C Hey. Na mimi unajua watu wale ni make better funnily enough kulikuwa na mafomu fo wengine juu unajua every friday na saturday kulikuwa na entertainment chuo yeah, yeah. so nafaa kuwa na ngoma mpya before saa to friday <laughs> so lazima niandike ngoma mande <laughs> uriashike <laughs> eh. nipige kwa stage <laughs> so how i send notice ile time tuna rap nao kila saa how so hizi si ma freestyle juu at some point walianza kuzirudi ku, unajua ukirudia rhyme yenye unandanga yeah. nilikuwa proof na umeirudia nikaanza ku notice ah So mimi niko na hiyo memory sana. Hata ilifika time Kenya ilinisaidia hata ku pass mimi KCAC. Ilikuwa ni topic kinishinda na iandikia ngoma. <laughs> Sasa ile ona andika mwa Kenya bro. Mimi niko hapa line ya motion topic moja ya fizo na piga formula line ya motion kwa verse. Bro nikiona <laughs> nikiona hiyo swali hivi eh, naanza. Una na mistari mm. because even kitambo some formulas used to sing them. Yeah. Even like the rainbow colors ni used to sing them. So mm. it's also a very good technique. So ni realize your high school man. So nikaanza kuitumia kama tactic ya any topic that it gonna lemea ngoma straight away. My brother karibu sana kula kula show. Sije kubaya lunch. Nashukuru. Ndio hii. Ii, karibu sana Miale. Bueno. Maguenos. Mm. Aza na mgui kwa hapa hii. Usio mguu na yangalia vibaya yes, sana. Eh ndio hiyo maze. Sample. Ehe. Mm. Nayo nayo karibu sana kula kula mm. shonja onja onja kwanza niambie ikoaje. Mm. Alafu ndio saa kipindi sasa ianze sasa. Ni mwana mbona ulikuwa ananiambia ni sikule. Ya yeah, wewe nikwambia maze nikajua eh hey, Rezi nikimwambia atafika. Wewe unajua ulikuwa nafika nga show. <laughs> Ukifika kwisha wa dadish. <laughs> But unajua, hata ngambia kitu moja juu yangu, time is always a factor mazee. Yeah, yeah. Hata mimi mwambie wasi, ukiniambia nikuje show usiku sijui saa tatu usiku na fuck perform 11. Yeah. Niambie 11 ya ukweli. Usifikiri so. unaongelesha African timers. Eh, hey, maana wasanii wa Kenya wako nao shida. Na hey, na notice na treasure sana hiyo. Wewe Jabidi Nameless Uh, who else there's like two other guys juakali juakali na kuambia wewe for five na waire yes juakali have seen mpaka ujame ukichelewa juakali mimi call club ananiambia sangapi buda ananiambia mm. utaka mkitu sana ananiambia sawa saa 3:50 na buda niko hapa kwa parking <laughs> <laughs> buda maze alafu mm. ananiambia mtu anakukujia niko hapa niko hapa <laughs> Iko kwa parking jo. Mm. Ah, mtu anakuja sana relax watu for 10 minutes. Huyo mtu si muoni. <laughs> so uh, yeah. as in time mini lilan. Yaani hiyo ndo kitu kiwa tu so strict nayo hakuna kitu ita go wrong na wewe kwa hii maisha. Kama wewe yeah. ni msanii. You have to be very time conscious. Mm. Bro, mimi wa Kenya wamenitesa. You call people for board meetings, you trying to pitch them, give them. Iko fit. Kula kula kula. You call Kenya artists for a business meeting, bro. Msei nafa kuja saa 5. Mm. Saa 8. Nakwambia bro bado na kama maze nakuja. Hapo nasema huyu msee, uko serious ni pesa nimekuitia. And then I don't know what's wrong with Kenya artists with this thing for. Mm. Unampiga story ya pesa then anakuweka pending. Bro I'm trying to put bread on your table. Nakwambia so, bro nitakupatia feedback. Wacha niongee na manager then ananyamaza. Mm. You do know you can still say no if you don't want. Yeah. Just say no then we move. Ama story ama producer kuweka mm, watu na ngoma na nini. Watu wako na 
not all of them but watu uje kia busy aiko mi bro kama niko ndakwambia niko kama siko 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 watu wanapenda kufanya kuna at your time kidogo hiyo time kidogo i define your professionalism ha, hakuna yani ikiwa niko free niko free kama hiyo time ulini call njoo hii interview nilikuwa kompi kwa pale ni vile umenipigia kwa simu so ni tusikate hata hii simu si niko na ratiba interview zangu za hivi kwa chani angalie yeah. hiyo time unasema si niko tuipange tupange between mm, si lazima ati nikukatie simu nikwambie nauliza mahali kwanza ndo uone mimi ni professional but hata ukiuliza just respond respond yeah. bro me have called people for money i'm like yo client anasema <laughs> hivi kuna msanii mwingine acha niseme jina yake mm. but let me give you the story mm. it is a very big artist in kenya mm. nampigia hata shika take one mm. ata relax nampigia take two ata shika because mimi nikupigia sasa hivi hautashika unakumkuelea swali ya which animal is this eh muse makarate yeah so na call ashiki yeah. then na text yo bro and all the time nikwa text me i always say my name just in case mm. ni aje bro so bina i'm trying to reach out because there's this job for nini nini i reply then after like an hour and i call tena atashika mm-hmm. alafu na nipigia after two hours bro sema na kwambia kuna client alikuwa anasema hivi na hivi na kuna show unatakaje ambia wako na pesa ngapi Nambia buda. Sema red card. Mimi nimeambia clan nime pitch mm. red card. Mm. No way waangalia kuna pesa ngapi alafu niambie. Ah, na of course naambia clan pesa ngapi clan anasema of course clan hawezi kuambia tuko na budget. Clans mm. wote hawananga budget. Mm. Naambia yeye wamesema wana budget wako na hii pesa. Hiyo e, ni kidogo bro. Hiyo e, ni kidogo. Labda wafike sijui watu wanaambia sawa. Naongea na clan na kupigia imagine I'm not making a shilling. Mm-hmm. E, clan amesema hiyo noma hii ndio pesa yako na hiyo itakuwa noma. Naambia sawa. One week later msanii bro ile show set fanyaje waambia wale tutu hiyo pesa tuipige <laughs> after kumesha kwa moto no ulishasema pesa karibia na anaona ulishasema pesa itoshi mimi mm. nikamwambia client amesema itoshi see we call someone else client unajua kimwambia anga iwezi they call someone else wana fikiria client ameka china na kungoja mahali we ni big deal bro it's bread anyway tume side side track we trudi kwa story yetu hapa mimi namjua ndio kwambia ni nani eh utashanga out of course labda unamjua ni mtu amejulikana na si mmoja this kula kula show unakula na kuuliza maswali ukipata correct unaendelea kukula ukipata wrong amini chop utakula utakula hapa umesema kitabu ulipiga haya tuanze na swali number 1 tuanze zile za google kuna swali zingine za google ndio <laughs> si umejichocha unajua ngeniambia eh hey bro maze he hey, hey. i love you but ukisema mimi ni chop leta niulize za industry na nini ndo nani niulize hizo ah. nenda kuambia draw and cut for real bro ni sikuuliza vitu kama which animal lays the largest eggs which bird ni gani ostrich mimi sijui si wewe una unaliza mbona hii si hizo swali za kukula hii ni ni swali ya kukula basa hii ni number 1 Which bird lays the largest eggs? Ostrich. Sindo ni correct. Ah. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> Nikosa. Wanataka nikwambie which year did Dr. Dre found, find Snoop Dogg? Yes, 1996. Ah. Na for real umejua? Alimsign lakini alikuwa anamjua kutoka 1994. Mm, Tukiendaga. <laughs> Zaina sio kuuliza uko pabaya. Haya, <laughs> Jay-Z alimit Beyoncé wapi? <laughs> Ngoja nimesh Beyonce kwa hiyo sijui. Aje kayo wazi. Ni kama ni zamini nimetoa sunu wapi sijaiwe kayo wazi. Eh, leo utaiweka wazi. Leo because me first time leona so soon. Kiss TV was big. Mm. Alafu sasa alikuwa na mapisi za green za na blue Kenya. za Kenya. Za Kenya nini alafu mimi nilikuwa nilikuwa nafanya job uh, first nikishio Kongo then nikaanza kufanya job nika move land mawe. Nikaishi kwa nyuma mabati ya 4000. Bro nilikuwa big boy. Nilikuwa nyuma mabati ya 4000 bed yangu iko hapa. Niko na kiti ya plastic, niko na TV hapa ya Aukman, niko na Ampex home theater. Alafu kuna ingoma ukatoa. Wa Kenya mbona tujii support? Bro hiyo ngoma nilikuwa naipiga mabati nafanya. Hiyo ngoma nilikuwa on a loop. Alafu akakamu kwa keja kan alafu kwa naona susu nini acha naona atazama ngoma wa ile anazima eh maze ya majuu maze wa Kenya maze alafu umebaki bandera bro hiyo ngoma nilisikia so that's where i knew so soon unajua reason umesema hiyo ndo kuambia story mbili ukisema ukongo yes kuna kazi yangu alikuwa ni shima kongeni mhm kina dadi naoni makuzo zangu sasa walikuwa wanapiga gafudo wanapeleka inda 
Uh-huh. Naenda kuzia so aenda pale tu nyuma pale. Kina sisi yao. So mimi nilikuwa na rauka kakuenda Kongo kufanya kazi. Njunda kula chapo. Kazi gani? Ya kupika. Sinasaidia tuko hiyo oh. nyumba tu. <laughs> Favorite aunties. <laughs> Nilo unajua kienda huku. Uh-huh. Chapo nini alafu unajua huko sasa una hakuna ya nini? So nilikuwa naenda ga huko. Alafu tunaenda tunauza ukisaidia kuuza unakula pia yani wewe lunch yako iko hapo committee yemi chieme mm committee yemi <laughs> chieme sasa ikakuwa ni hivyo so tuji support coming back to hiyo ilikuwa show tulikuwa nayo 2010 peace square the biggest album hiyo ilikuwa na dumi na hizo ngoma zingine yes sasa peace square tuko nao unajua mimi sasa hiyo siku nilikuwa na ujanja mimi nilikuwa mjanja from before nikiitwa show Nairobi nilikuwa na danganya sisi niko na tichi nilikuwa naambiwa sawa Nairobi nime relocate naishi Mumba ndio pia mimi nibukiwe flight nini <laughs> nilale pia Hilton <laughs> ju ma promoter wa Nairobi wasiumkawe ni wa Nairobi kama perform rudi home wow tamen kasema i mean nitoka niko coast nili rocket so nikatumiwa do ya flight nikasunda <laughs> nikatumi wa accommodation mali pisco alikuwa na lala so wako hapa pisco alafu mimi next ju tunapiga show mimi ndio nimetoa tichi imagine tichi sahii kicheza kwa club watu wataamka so imagine hiyo time yenye sasa hiyo ya yenye iko hot so nilikuachana na kina trio mimi sasa ilikuwa mbaya siezi hata tend bro, bro. ni noma tichi was tichi was, was massive, another yani thing massive. bro mpaka wasof kidian nilikujanga na kina juwa na sawani watu pia mimi ndio wananikiwa chuo mimi came later way later Yeah. So, Pisco akiwa kwa nini alikuwa ananiambia? So, tunapiga story. Tunapiga story, but you wasani wa kibiti. Au kwanza ni the most friendliest people. Yeah. Wakaanza kuniambia, we were trying to listen to the radio to find a Swahili word yenye waende waseme kwa stage. Zile hata waseme kitu kwa stage ya Kiswahili. Yeah. Wanasikiza tu maana wanasikia tu ngoma za Nigeria. Two face nani? Ilikuwa tena era nyingine si akina whisky. Big, yeah. So, walikosa. So, hata kwa stage their last word was perform your own support your own alikuwa anasema hivyo kwa so two mean, face j martins mm, eh, around your time akina nani bracket walikuwa wanajaribu kidogo yes, yeah. but two face was big akina j martins mm. yes so mimi nikiingia hata unasikia first two musema hiyo ni trio ni kweli pisco ya wali witness hiyo ni kweli alafu hata ile story ya hii beshte yako heri kusema mimi ni sana nilifunga hiyo show naturally it wasn't that ya fight sijui nani atafunga but it was ukieka ule mse wa tichi ya perform people might ratoka waende yeah. yeah. so after peace kwa so niliwaona na the last word walisema kwa stage ilikuwa ni support your own na walikuwa so so nini na hiyo kitu juu anajua hao wame support wa kondo wakafika huko yeah so ni kitu watu ji support that was the whole cause ili toka from hiyo hiyo show nikaambia na boy eh, rap hiyo time iko to rap damu sikizo watu wanamjua kama na boy kama kaniambia eh hey bro alikuwa ameniambia time nilimpataga home amekaa alafu unajua mother tu wa Afrika yeah. asha mkaribisha asha mpea chai kuna rafiki yako anakungoja hapo asimjui so na nikaingia na pata ni rap damu ananiambia ko na studio arambe tukaenda then na boy you can, you can be a witness ni mse ukimit na yeye yani ana vibe poa is a friendly dude ni mse mpoa sana sure. tuka click friendship became more than even music so tukaanza ku do ilikuwa ni do song ni mwinuli studio but when he ended up finish up finishing my whole first album so first album yangu yenye ilikuwa na teach rudia na wop the one who did the rest of the tracks ilikuwa na boy because tichi wop rudia zilikuwa jomino zilikuwa jomino yeah jomino. we'll get in that story in a bit yeah, yeah. kula 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 because maswali zinakuja moto sai sai yeah, maswali zinakuja moro 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 mm akini food inaweza food, food inaweza iko sawa hii ni yale ndakuwa nakuja chini ya maji <laughs> <laughs> eh unajua nyimba superstar mkuja tunafikia huko kwa macubicle hata space kama unaona hii ni, ni private hata wasome kama huko nje wajutu kwa hapa. Na wanaweza wanaweza kubali msia shoot video ni monezo macubicle yeah. ni venue mimi yeah. unajua nikiangalia na na venues. Kwa. Yeah 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 you wanna do a video you wanna do a conference you wanna do baby shower whatever labda unapanga kitu. Ongea na mimi mitupo alafu tuna control. Usiwaiogopa. Aya swali ndio inakuja Me, meza hiyo kwa na meza hiyo kwanza juu naona ni kama utakula hapa sasa mimi mm. kuna swali sisi jibu <laughs> bro mimi na jamini yanga <laughs> i like your confidence mm. i like your confidence aya ndio hiyo sasa mm-hmm. 
What is the green coloring pigment in plants? Chlorophyll. <laughs> Wewe bwana mwanze kuset maswali ngumu ngumu kwa kipindi. Mkileta watu kama kina Kendrezi muna set maswali ngumu ngumu. Mm. We? Na hiyo ifunzo. <laughs> Mm. So the first time I met you mm-hmm. officially wacha ya high school yo siko sure but me ufikiria ni wewe because hiyo flow ilikuwa same ile ya teach hizo mistari but ukisema maseno it must be me na ukisema siku ya bake nilikuwa siku ya bake nilikuwa sports day na ulifunika nilikuwa nilikuwa mfupi kushinda saa hii ulikuwa mfupi you are the shortest in that crew ulikuwa hapo na represent and then you are dark you are very black then all the games walikuwa wanapenda kunibeba jumidi na warapia na wapia cycle kabla waingie kwa kwa game uh, so it was always in every fun key okay mm. okay so uh, the first time i met you nimeenda tunatafuta studio ya kurap mm mm-hmm. tukaenda buru mm-hmm. buru ukipita pale place rap dama alikuwa na studio alikuwa anaitwa harambe kuna jina nyingine Mm, mesora mesora yeah. tukafika tukanini tukapanda stairs mpaka juu tumeingia studio mm-hmm. ile comp ile iko na mgongo ni tumeingia hapo ni pacho mm-hmm. kwani kwa pacho then ile comp ki start inachukua 15 minutes hiyo yeah. 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 that one tumeingia tumetulia mm-hmm. tumekaa kwa sitting room so labda mkuja akasalimia tukambia sini wasanii sijui ni nini nini alafu sijui alikuwa anafanya nini alikuwa na sitting room alafu alikuwa na studio mahali hapo mm-hmm ukakam umeva kofi umeka hivi kando umeva kinyasa umeva viatu zinafika hapa zile barabasa zako zikuwa nafika huku juu adidas mm. alafu alikuwa anakuita choppers choppers eh hey, yes. uko sawa <laughs> ukenge okay. hey, choppers choppers jo sijui nini 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 mimi niko yeah get dressed get the toki kuna finyana puda get dressed Mm. Ukaingia choppers ukatuna ni aje ni nini ume ume tule tu headphones tu dogo ulikuwa na headphones lakini the small one not the big yeah, yeah. kwa dogo umevaa umeingia ukati maze sijui nini 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 ukaingia kiri ukaingia studio maze mkafungia na uko ndani maze mm. situ mbakia maze na ngoja wow. mkafanya sijui ni project kama ni tulika hapa maze ukatoka ukaenda maze siku hiyo kukucheki ilikuwa tu bro wewe unajua watu wa kongoni wangapi walijua mimi natembeanga na rezi wewe <laughs> Ah, mimi nimetoka studio maze mm. tumekoko na kina kinrezi maze mm. acha ametupita hapo ah amepita wapi amenigota ah tumekuwa na kina kinrezi bro <laughs> si tumekuwa na kina kinrezi tumekuwa studio <laughs> yeah, yeah. we are working on something mm. say that to record anything bro yeah. working on that was the first time and when i when i used to see you guys mm. i used to go like man some day one day mm. then now later came your story uh, so soon and studio now I want us to go back because there's someone who might know you today mm-hmm. or there's someone who knows you from then but now I do the story mm. jomino ulienda je jomino because jomino was huge mm. and then kidogo jomino kadeli too from nowhere mm. then uh, pacho came and then pacho went and then grandpa mm. jomino ilianza je jomino ilikuwa after me kumaliza chuo high school nilikuwa naenda kutafuta ma nikisikia anywhere naona muambie wasanii wa jitume tu uh, mostly kama mjulikani yeah nilikuwa nisikia kuna show ya msema hali ati sijui hiyo bina na perform wapi ndaenda hiyo siku ni jo dj ni nani mapema ni muambie nataka tu one minute wey kabla hata huyo bina akuje so i always asked for one minute na hiyo okay. sikio kitu yangu ya kuitisha one minute ilikuwa inafanya dj ananiambia sawa sasa perform tu ngoma moja juu <laughs> hakuna vile atakwambia utafo verse moja yes. so nikipewa platform nilikuwa na perform always teach juu hiyo ndo song ilikuwa na even before i recorded it so nikaenda f2 it happened that the day I was going competition inaanza so and then i register kama wewe ni msanii mi register then again another blessing hiyo ndo time dna na steve wanakuja ku launch banjuka f2 Ah. So niko kwa that environment and and I think kama kama ni kitu tunaweza partner tufanye saa hii jua kuna place saa hii wasanii wana showcase talent maze. Yaani place tu unasema let's go scout for. F2 ilikuwa kama producer wanapitia kuangalia msanii mnomo wamchukue wafanye yeah. kitu. Yeah. So saa hii there is no in Kenya where there is such a thing going on. So mimi nimeenda nikaimba tichi hapo akapela sijui hata unaweza beba beat ya mse mimi nilienda tu sijui kuna kuangana hata beat ya mtu hata sijui huyo ni mimi so mimi nimeenda tu na perform akapela by the time na ifika katikati ikabamba wase juu ilikuwa interactive hiyo song juu anajibu kitu na hii tichi mnasikia ngamba nothing changed the lyrics were just the same, same as from before so 
Awa sio akaniambia rudia sasa ile na mbwa rudie DJ Kid akanikia beat ya TOK fulani bali walid so the second time rapping it style ku explosive Steve akaniambia alinikutafuta show we kama mtakurekodi yango ma for free yo umeperform hapa hiyo so nikamwambia bro mimi natoka Jeri bana studio iko yake Steve anaambia studio iko ngong fair norma akanipea punch 500 500 to 7 bro niliyeka kwa akiba that's a lot of money na hicho na hivi kidogo sasa hiyo 500 sasa <laughs> ni ma 30 bob hakuna mvua ikinyesha pengine 40 hii yenye sikuizi anasema mvua 200 sasa hiyo yeah. time ilikuwa hivyo so imagine na tao jeri mpaka tao ni mbao tao mpaka ngong ni 40 jioni unaona so napiga hizo lap nafika studio mande tume make beat enda bro pigetizi so nikienda na beat home ndo nikapata ile party ya tichi ndio mimi na wapa it wasn't in the, it wasn't in the original chorus ili toka ah. from beat juu kiendo sikia tichi utasikia tiri hiyo string kuna string iko kwa chorus hiyo ndo ilinipea hiyo idea so nikaenda wednesday Steve alikuwa literally anatafuta energy yangu alinifukuza studio mara nne He's going out he's working out nini alafu anakuja ananiambia bado mpaka ananipiga ngumi kwa chest aski no ando kicheza tichi sai moja ambia tichi hata sina hiyo sauti sai it's, it's still a powerful voice jukuna jie baka sai alisikia ni hey, ilikuwa jie crazy na hey, for you are tracky hata sai natafuta hiyo sauti did the security mm. so sai ile nili get aliniambia ndio hiyo now let's go sasa mimi nani hata so, si so mi ngoma nimeimba for 3 years 4 years so na rap just like songa tu that eh. lakini nilikuwa na, bado nilikuwa on basis of fun na napenda no nini napenda jua kali sikuwa nafikiria nitakuwa one of them no anda hata yeah. between the session na mbia gwa say live steve alikuwa anauliza eh unapenda asa kali if namwambia eh juu ju, anasikia mpaka namwambia sasa tuweke hii waje nilikuwa nasema na na, na imeiva na inabamba imeisha alafu namwambia sasa turudie na imeiva naanza ku drag kawa say it was i missi kuwa na jua many takampuni Now when the song came out watu wakisikia hizo parts ndio watu wakaanza kusema una sound kama jua una sound kama una sound kama no nini una sound unaona mm. but mimi sikujua i your song it, you, you, you have no clue it's your first song is the first time you entering a studio you are still a fan alafu to seven speaking ndio ile time sasa Kenyan industry ko so vibrant sasa kila mtu ndio ile time ya watu wametoa mangoma yani ni normal So Steve mm. Allen hiyo kitu apparently no wonder me ambia wase ni ki record sasa wop nilikuwa nime jam nilikuwa nataka kushowa sisi sasa ndo urezi sasa sasa wop <laughs> why na ni bamba hiyo place unasema kuna stima na post, post ni wireless post ni wireless unajua ni okongo na ni jeri pia bro kongo nilikuwa nasikia ngoma na angalia maposa sima zile za kongedi kwa lakini dressi ameikuwa hapa eh wop What was a song that naweza sema hiyo ndo song yangu ever kwa life yangu yote nimeandika ni in not not like a, a single write down ile yenye umekaa chini let's write Ukandika. a song umalize mm. ilikuwa one day enda piga malap na ona wase kwa bake wana game na sahara jeri pale wanjo so yeah. wana ni wanoma bake lakini wana sporty <laughs> so ile kiatu iko ndio <laughs> Naona eh hii ni idea kali naona madogis go chainless naona hivi naona vitu naona watu wana unaanika favorite chat kwa kamba mtu anasanya hayo stay kama usipochungu tabaki life wetu si come to home ni chainless tulikuwa na viti mbili wageni wanne wakikaa mwe mwingine itabidi can stool mimi stool aikewe so hizo vitu babi alikuwa akisikia hiyo song anasema eh kendrezi ni creative kumbe hizo ni creative like yo bro hali hata hiyo tv ya great world tulikuwa nayo at your point True. Umse ana nyambi mkutana na msemu mwingine wa West. Uli get up your screen jo. Well, like, bro. Na, bro I screen. just told mom. <laughs> mom ni anje. Nielete kwa hapa nje. So that is how Jomino life came and Stevo yeah. you ended up being part of Jomino. So you know when Banjuka came out people didn't know kuna Jomino kuna nini. So my intro was so strategic cuz ndio understand how alitoa Banjuka wakujua ita hit ama ita hit but ili hit. Yeah. Now teach ilikuwa ku specify okay kuna Kendrezi kuna Steve Oju ya track wondo producer na Michi Jomino representing Jomino ENT now now Tichi introduce sasa Jomino vile leo unajua you DNA unajua alisema tu DNA Jomino of course yeah, na kaka banjuka kaka na songa nice, yeah. na banjuka was too big for you to think even studio ni gani nini but mimi nilikuwa na hiyo ora ya sasa huku ni wapi oh ni Jomino kasonga nayo yeah, yeah. what's the highest amount of money you are paid for Tichi ama the biggest platform that Tichi put you on 
Tichi, I think naweza sema mimi nilipata do. Mimi ndio mimi ndio msanishe pata do mobe MCSK. MCSK ilikuwa inaanza hiyo time tunabembelezwa kuingia. Yeah. Baka tulikuwa screen saver mimi ya bus juu na nani. Hiyo time ilikuwa another CEO. So royalty wise naweza sema royalty wise because nikisema show siezi jua ni ngoma gani imeniti ya show. Okay. But royalty wise Tichi Tichi ishaini make as juu so nani. Hiyo so time 800,000. Yeah. That's monthly ama that's yearly. Quarterly. Uh, ile ile sasa unasema yeah, wana, after 4 months. Yeah, Sikio alipanga I think yeah. Mm-hmm. After 4 months. Lakini hiyo time tuko tunapanga nga line. Unapanga line. <laughs> Mimi kwanza namba yangu ya MCSK ukisikia ni 13 14 you only a thousand artists. <laughs> Sisi ndio mabete. Teran. Ulikuwa unapanga line watu wanakuwa ndoka check. Unapigwa do, unapigwa do mpaka unasema hey, God bless MCSK. Hiyo do ulipeleka wapi? Kila mtu simu. Nani ana simu home? <laughs> Nani ana <laughs> Bro nimetoka chuo. Nda dunini na dot wa 7. Na hata sijui hata unafa kufungua account. Hakuna Google, hakuna mtu anaku explainia. Na my dad mwenye angeza kuwa a good example akuniambia Buddha by land by how. Yeah. Mbuyu alikuwa amejam na mziki juu ilichukua sana wake mwenye alikuwa kwa pilot. Kumbuka sasa hiyo ah. nimepata ma eh hey, bro mimi ni noma kuchop na hii story. So Trajectory ni wangu na feel. Wewe oh, unaniambia mziki nini? So yeah. my best friend tulikuwa mabeshe sana na Mburu. Wasn't my best friend for a whole year. Sasa hii jomino niko nayo wako excited oh, yeah. Rezi Rezi ndo anatuletea madem so to seem correct. Awe yao ni my yes man sasa. <laughs> Juu akini eh tunaweza mwambia hii mazea wache msiki. So to seem mwambie kitu. Huyu Rezi yako tu sawa. Juu apparently those people jomino mimi nilianguka kusaidia mababi. DNG alikuwa USIU anaishi zona ko sawa alikuwa na gari tayari hiyo time DNA acha kula do ya PNU huwezi mwambia kitu ni, yeah. ni ako na pesa ya mziki na ni mtu Steve o, ako tu sawa Kaya kila mtu wao ako majuu yeye ndo amebaki hata anafaa ende sijua anafaa yeye nataki kuenda na eh. chop akaenda later kuchop huko akumalizia huko so mimi niliangukia kwa watu wenye hata tukienda show alipo 50k na wana inaisha hapo Kaya ananiambia Rezi man gema kali man yani inaisha na mimi sayo bado narudi na 50k wao mkuprovia mbuyu vile inaweza. Yeah. Lakini the first time mbuyu aliona kwa stage ni kikampeni ya Raila to 7 before the election violence. Ndio alisema, "Eh, hey, tufanye cheat. Chama za kucheat ndio si hatutaki sana ili flip ka kwa cheat." <laughs> so aliniona kwa hiyo stage akasema, "Eh, hey, koro Eh yeah, sasa nice ndo kwa eh nice nice na baba very nice ni watu wa job wanasema we look alike <laughs> sasa eh, conversation ni kaza ku unga kwa mbeshe tena eh but lakini yeye ndo msi i think angeni guide sana but your time nili buy vitu zote sikuwa naona home yeah eh tv kala sijui nini <laughs> eh unajua tuko napiga tom and jerry atujui tom kwa hii kala ama hii kala <laughs> so hiyo do uh, but remember jomino took a share pia Okay. Because the contract back then was 70-30 for for me. Alafu sijui nilipata gawa wapi kwa ku negotiate. But it was because Tichili he way before to patane sa to sign. Remember Steve Waki ni pair there was no strings attached and uh, hustle. Yeah. So he kind like a hit if Disuza played it on Capital Big Up Maze top 9. Well, na hata kuingiza ati watu wa debate aliingiza number 9. Alafu beshte yako sana did for me my first ever interview. Uh-huh. Hii story hata nikupe hii story sijaipiga mahali hii story. Sana kaniuliza vizuri kwa radio. Do you have a girlfriend? Sasa mimi sinaona kina Lily Wayne nini nianza kuwaona kina 50 cent. Uh-huh. Maji wote wenye naona wanasema anga wako single la wana. Why? Lakini najua wana nayo. Kumbe hao ni maji bro. Huku Kenya ni real life, real thing. <laughs> so mimi <laughs> nasema sina. Nasema uko na mtu. Si so soon. Oh hiyo time uko na so soon tayari. Bro video ya Tichi Lucas alikamkushoot akaniambia watu wamesikia hii ngoma for long Lucas ni Ogopa DJs my first video was blessed by Ogopa DJs no wonder me I, I just think I was meant to be here cuz Lucky hata watu wengine hawajai muona ushaibona <laughs> I've never <laughs> seen Lucas imagine when you been imagine sasa, I've sasa, never seen the guy sasa Lucky ameniambia watu washasikia hii ngoma go look for a, an image vile utaonekana kwa hii song watu wanakujua forever So mimi nilikuwa na vanga makofia hizi ma, zimekuja hivi kidogo alafu nilikuwa na ingine ya sweater. So it happened to be on my birthday week 29th of September. So soon naka come home akanletia gift ya kofia mbili na bolia bake na pump ya hiyo ball. Kanikosa akaacha hapo. 
nikakam nikaziget sasa hiyo lukia mimi nambia nitafute image nikavaa hivi hiyo kofia na zi unpack zilikuwa kwa ma box sio zibai maju aje ni ambia to story po aju zilikuwa zile zilikuwa zone mpaka manukato ukifungua unasikia eh sasa mimi ni wa East London bana sijai sikia hizi vitu sijaona hizi kofia zime ilikuwa ya unit mbichi 50 ameiva na mimi nimeiva sasa hiyo so nikaiva hivi standing nikaona inanipedho kichwa sana ndio nikaisongesha hivi hivyo vile unasema hata uliniona hiyo nilikuwa luku yako nikakuwa luku yangu rezi weka yes. kofia hivi kando kidogo nikaambia luki nimepata image So so soon played a part in the Kendrez you see. Na ile Durag. Durag nilifunga ndani cause mimi nilikuwa tumse wa Durag. Nilikuwa gana va Durag sasa na kofia. Ah. So so niliyesema tu acha nifunge ndani then nike kofia juu. Na Kinyasa. Kinyasa naye ni yangu tu. Hata nikiwa high school nilikuwa tu wa Kinyasa form 1 na 2 alafu form 3 na 4 na vatrao mimi niendelea nao mpaka form 4. Na ni juu tu mademo alikuwa ananiambia mguu zangu zinakapoa. <laughs> Mimi kitaka nifanye kitu watume. Watume tu waniambie ah, rezi ukimba hiyo kama better man zingine tatu. Andazi. Alafu so sana akakuliza kwa na demo kasema una. Nikasema sina. Juu sana venye yako. Ah, juu. Na believe hiyo ndio gangster. Okay. Atata kama uko nayo kwa interviews na nini unafoseme hakuna. Ikakuramba. Eh wewe sasa utakuwa rapa. Kumbe on the other side so sana ameambia mabishti zake kwa hostel skizeni radio chali yangu ako live interview au watu wana omegada wanasikiza bro sana akaniambia sana si unajua sana najua hizi vitu akaniuliza tena kendrez i'm giving you petero ile jogo ina wika mara tatu nakupatia nakuuliza tena mimi niko tu wazi kwanza na songa songa alafu unajua ni radio so uwezi get move yangu but nilikuwa nakwambia nilitoka hapo nilienda west nilifika hivi mabeshi za sundo alikuwa ananiambia hata kabla sasuna ni address wewe enda urudi huko mali umetoka alikuwa wasi later nikamu explainia yeye alikuwa wasi wapi mm alikuwa kuna time alikuwa graphics college akichopizo ni ni za easy management na nini na sizo alafu ndo akaenda kampo but sasa unachekio time ilikuwa ni sikuwa najua but nilimu explainia akanielewa from an innocent point yani but for real mimi nilikuwa dhani msanii anafaa sema nge hivyo hauna mtu swear jumi nikiona kila mtu mwenye najua alikuwa na relationship na ni star alikuwa anasema ana i'm single bro i'm single bro. kumbe watu wana mabunda ma million mm. dollar wao wanasema right. i'm single bro na ndio umecheck in which is the principal source of energy for us the sun bro ni kunoma hii kuku tunamaliza <laughs> <laughs> How many consonants are there in the English alphabet? Mm, minus five of the letters mm. in the alphabet. So minus a e o u. Uh-huh. Two vowels. So is going to be 22. Karibu pale 21. So I will give you that 21. Kwa hivyo ni the letters zote ni 26. Uh, there you go. Oh. Mm. So okay. nimekuachia hiyo because mm. baby frog is known as a tadpole. Hiyo <laughs> najua tuko naenda ga fishing. Watu wengine wanashika fish, wengine wanashika tadpole after five weeks. Tadpole iko kwa nyumba. Kuna enda fish kwa mtaa. Five weeks ni toad. Toad ilikuwa ina mm. ina grow kwa nyumba watu wameanza fish. Name the longest river on earth. Mississippi. Hapo umeanguka. Wachana yeah. wachana na kuku. Nile in Nile Nile ni longer than Mississippi yes lakini wana nimesema Nile ah wewe na kuona chipope kebe but umezipata pata mm. where did you meet so soon and how long have you guys been together now before teaches with the social kuambia first like 7 16 years what is 16 years here ako ya wewe uko hapa mimi yale job wife ako job mnapata na usiku so nyinyi kama mko 10 years together mmekuwa 5 hiyo ni nusu mimi na so soon we've been 16 like day and night so tuko basi 32 muko together cuz amekuwa ki do the same job as me kama niko na show na yeye ana show yoni ya company ndio hata kama kwa stage juu amjamlipa lakini atana ya company yeah. kama yeye ako na show na sina nitaenda na yeye mostly kasi na kitu ya kudu yeah but maybe start pia kwa stage but juangeni juange tu niko around rezi ako so, ako yani anachunga mali <laughs> so actually tumekuwa before before the fame 
tulipata na ilikuwa show ya bus Uh-huh. Kumbuka vizuri cuz nilikuwa nimesema sasa nimetoka high school mali hata ukihug dem when ni MVP. Sasa nikasema nimemaliza chuo leo dem mwenye napata. Mm. Lazima katambe. Ah, mimi imagine I'm that good boy. Nilianza kukatambisha after high school. Sasa wewe nimnadhani mimi nime mimi ni mbaya. <laughs> I swear. Uh-huh. Mm. Na kupatia so- my exclusive bro. Zip so- guys story man. <laughs> Sasa tumeenda na mabeshte zangu. Shabaz ilikuwa wapi? Ilikuwa West hiyo club iko nitoa katika. Okay. Ilifungwa anga siko unakumbuka ilikuwa si mini naiva siku hizi. I wasn't there then but ni naiva siku hizi yeah. hata isha kwa supermarket. Sasa hiyo ndo club hata refiga bado walikuwa wanakuja na ku dance. Yenyewe <laughs> 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 jo <laughs> safari. Sasa uh-huh. nikaingia. So soon I can explain ya Joel kwa amevaa like a boy kabisa baka mekele ya kufia ameifunika chini ataki hata msia msumbue juu apparently hostel zao ziko karibu na hapo so mwa beshte zake wakamwambia wa come out hako anajisikia kuenda ndo maana akadunga hivyo so mimi naambia beshte yangu buda tu unaona wale mademu wawili usiongeleshe ule demo amevangepa so beshte yangu ananiambia ile buda kwa ni wewe uoni juu demu mwingine naye alikuwa dem nywele unaona ni yani mwenye unaweza sema nataka ule sasa lakini mimi nilikuwa naona hapa naona udem hapa tu kwa mdomo hii area hii naiona ni kama naona ni kama ni mupenda mademu anaka hiyo design yani hiyo design like almost like a boy but ako na the feminine side pia alafu saa kusikia sauti yake sana kachizi cuz alikuwa na sasa hata hiyo 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 hostful venye hiyo unaona sikia hiyo sana unaijua Kenya nasema <laughs> Eh na wewe kama mwanachama na Jona nielewa vizuri. Na, na kumanya. Sasa kwenda kumanya vyema. Eh. Tukaanza ku vibe. Sasa hiyo ni shapa form by the way. Alafu Abasa alikuja akadiskila msanii alimkatendraizia. Hawa sani wote wameperform wako down. Eh ni chindo ya Abasa. Hivyo ndio unaingia. Bro, I, I meant well bro. Alafu akasema except ule boy amevange pa ya white ako tight. And you hear the na sound too kama eh nikatoa kichwa jumi ilikuwa mimi ngepa ndio hii mimi e, nge, ni mimi ndio anasema nikapanda stage and then had a moment with him on stage alipenda wop because wop nilikuwa na perform a cappella even before he recorded it mimi nilikuwa na hizi songs by the way okay. so tukabonga na so soon you had so many things in common ana bonga french na bonga french ana ana rap na rap bonga french bro eh bro bana ngoja ni washukue kupe kupe bamba niko sawa ngoja album next red music <laughs> Sasa uh-huh. tulikuwa na so many things in common <coughs> zenye hizo ndo zao attract was at, at your age at your time tulikuwa tunaangalia vitu tuko pamoja ana anaelewa joke haraka unachoona hey, umekana msi au need to explain ako sharp hey, kitu uko hey, api ameona uko la hey, hey. 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 so ikatubamba sasa kitu unfortunate ni sasa ile maboy wangu wote waliingizwa kwa hostel kupewa mimi nilinyimwa aliniachia hapo kwa gate na kanisho z sasa nikaenda mtani kamwachia CD ya iko na tichi na beat nyingine ya rudia ya provoke unajua provoke provoke alikuwa shani mekia beat ya rudia cuz provoke came to f2 the next week pia akaniona kama steve kwa hivyo ningeendelea kwa f2 ninge make album na kuona waone watu <laughs> for free eh for free mhm uh-huh. iprovoke alikuwa shani ona shani pia beat ya rudia of which ended up being so soon's first song ji so soon alitumia hiyo beat kunionyesha juu yesa alikuwa na jua umse alikuwa na shoot video kwa za kienda askie tichi yeah. akaanza kusikia hizi vitu zote naimba ni vitu nilikuwa namwambia kwa hiyo club usiku <laughs> so akaanza kuona huu jamaa na wale maboyo wake walikuwa na kamera huu msi alikuwa na shoot video ama yuko so akaanza kunitafuta akaanza kunitafuta ile ame jam jukoni ni ku strict and never be stand za ngoma wewe Yes sasa tunatafuta na tusitukutane basi next day kukutana tukakutana tao ile base ya, ya pizza in pale ile base nyuma ya 64 kule hii side kuna pizza hapa after 64 Galito, kula, eh gali basi thank you, thank you eh. mm-hmm. so alinipita mara tatu ju sasa unaona ile lane ya ile lane ya nini usema ile lane za club za purple zinza kudanganya bro ali niliona dem niliona angel man. alikuwa ananipita sioni ni kama ni ule dem alikuwa msupu ndio kwa club but alikuwa mvakitom boy lakini sahi alikam kama dem kama dem e, 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 e. alinipita mara tatu ni uko uko akaenda maze tukakama hali akaoda vitu expe mimi nikaambia yoo ita niko sawa juu naangalia ndio yenye niko nayo ni hii kitu ameoda pesa imeisha sasa kabla ni nembe mimi niko sawa ya mke ya mke 
Mm. Mm. Story tushapiganga baadaye kinicheka. <laughs> but yani ikakuwa the ik, forever sasa tuka, tukakuwa and, and we took yani tulikuwa my best for long before it even it wasn't all about even at at sex or anything. We just vibed. No and at the same we say mara tukiwa if anything happens you tunajua your life yeah. but uh, to hope for hizo but nasema we can never not be friends with her yani ni, ni deeper than together that, you yeah. guys have had your fair share of scandals with her by the way Manze. family issues no, mara no. family yake haikuwa nakutaka juu wewe umesota hiyo ni uongo yeah that was not the story that was not the story what was the story the other one was the other issue she was going through with my yeah, na sister yangu ni yes, but, yes. but but her family is oh, oh. your family was kama kuna watu kama watu wananipenda uh, hii dunia ni uh, yani uh-huh. i swear from the mom to everyone rest in peace to her dad past this year mwaka yetu ilianza vibaya shosho yangu ali pass budaki aka pass yeah so it has been an year yenyewe tulikuwa tunaona hope na niliingia na moral ndo ni toile ngome itwa stack negative energy that was the only thing i didn't need this year yeah. but nilikuwa najua kama ni hustle na nini this Masonga. year itakuwa itakuwa my year man nilikuwa nishajiambia hiyo from the beginning now you have one child two two there's another one and, we talked about, and, and you talked about and you the funny thing we talked about them before they were born yani si hakuna kitu ati me come to tulisema yeah. tutakuwa na watu wawili mmoja anaitwa Keniana na mwingine anaitwa Freneth so soon anaitwa Fridiana mimi naitwa Kenneth so we we'll just break down our names mpatio ya kwanza chuko yangu ya mwisho Fridiana Freneth na Kenneth mwingine Keniana na Fridiana chuko ya mwisho hakuna watatu jua kuna jina jina zimeisha jina zimeisha so hapo tumefunga and by the way to listen anga na to discuss na god have to bless you Eh hey, ni mada. Mm. But wife yako one thing I'd give her she doesn't look like she has two children ha, the yeah. way she looks. Yeah. She's really taken yeah. good care of herself. Mm. Alafu vileta mengi kwa content creation bwana TikTok mwambie mm. apunguze. Mm. Eh mwambie huko hata aliachafua ali while sasa hii ana run studio ni number one records. Yeah but sasa atoke huko TikTok kabisa hizo mm. video anafanya si mzuri. Alipose kitabu. Bibibi ya mtu. Ni funny that mimi nimemkataza. Ni funny that kuna watu wanamwambia endelea. Yusikumado. Uh, no no niko na pesa lakini yay hey, if you don't get it forget about it. <laughs> oh finally make hit. Fine. Rezi I thought you said you were fast. Damn. Mm. Sasa wewe wewe oh, naangusha na ni wewe. Tuko kula kula eh? mind go split. Mind go split. Mm. Eh wewe umeku hit baadaye. Wow. Alikuwa so. na pose I'm like yo no. So soon no I have not you for a minute. Mm. And then mm-hmm. uh You you went on you went to Pacho you did the jam mm-hmm. uh how did you end up in Grandpa because now that is when you and Visita you guys were like a wave like Grandpa was Kendrezi Visita you know you, you talk from even Jomino you know when Jomino by the way kukua iku splitter at at is you kuna disagreement sama nini yeah. people just what wali enda maju nani ameenda wapi nani ameenda wapi by the other Steve Vomba kajana ame congratulate on this album so yeah. it's it's good yani kuna msiana bad blood na mwingine yeah but visita was still tukifanya ashuku ashu yeah. at jomino tukieka inaitwa una siyanga tukisema tukicheka tukisema inaitwa anga jomino and those came to ya 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 ashuku ashu after his story ndo tanielewa tulikuwa tunacheka to at that point we were just using the name jomino but it wasn't there sasa tunaitumia tu juu sasa watu wa wako rezi na ndo hawa sisi inaitwanga sasa tunacheka juu mazee jina tusonge nayo kidogo juu tushaileta yeah so uh, actually ni kweli uh, grandpa was the same situation kendrezi ni aje niko na studio nimeanzisha ni kwa grandpa unaweza come through nipe hype nitashukuru sawa refiga yeah refiga calling na kasipul sawa kasipul wasn't an owner of grandpa mimi hata sijui story yake ni gani no kasipul alikuja hapa akasema alikuwa owner wa grandpa akakusaidia ukakuwa na kiburi ukakuwa kichwa ngumu ukakuwa lazy akakufukuza zi zi and and me knowing kasipul the way i know him ni best yangu sana and we respect each other i think your time alikuwa in the moment ilikuwa food gani hiyo time we were like kazon jukasipul hata yeye mwenyewe hata nilisema usiona usiona unlike ile story ya why why siku respond to kaspool online cause yeah anajua atu, alafu tumekuwa na for long why why ni best yangu wa industry too but yeah. kaspool was like a personal even friend unaona yeah. so na, na amekuwa kinyeshimu all through na tumekuwa tukiheshimiana sana hata there was a point tulikuwa naye kwa gari nikimwambia story ya grandpa nini 
akiniambia rafiki anasema wende ushiki simu nikamwambia acha ni call sasa hiyo one tuka call mpaka kwa gari yake akaona vile rafiki ndo ashiki unaona so kaspuliza so mimi niliona hiyo kitu nikasema this no some, something to go at him for net nikipatana na obina tutaisema kwa hiyo setup Inaisha ama itakuwa poa jua aliseme hapo ama nikipatana na yeye muambia but he's a very good friend mazeka spool na so, i think nafanya nini ili, i think he sleep cause maybe he was I talking sleep, about ule ni share alikuwa za ndani ndo nakwambia he was talking about cause mimi uko kwa game hmm. you'll never hear a person anyone anakuambia rezi alikuja hapa akatu ama rezi ali I am always the person who kwanza sasa ndo najaribu kuwa mzi wasio kuaje wazi wasio na ringa ama wasio afanya nini najaribu sana kujikumbusha cause humility imenyonyesha ukikuwa uki msemo mwenye you are wase mostly in this our country when i take for granted they take advantage as well um, that's true alafu utapata sile msi ana do anafikiria ule msemo mwenye uonyesha usta huyo ndo anaitiwa 5 million huyo rezi mwenye kwa mpoa so the vile kaspula libonga hivyo mean if you some type of work cuz is a person at jay cross parts mm. alafu mimi hata refiga mwenyewe mbona mimi nilikuwa naye hata kwa farewell i was the only person who was doing with him farewell ya kusema i'm retired from music and in politics again mimi mwenye so mi sijai kuwa na hiyo atisijui uh, kwanza kuniaka from your point na naongea sasa hii juu miss quiz is not for me it's for my kids na wanaingia kwa mtandao anaona so i can never let someone joke with my name as in like for real Yeah. So sikusikia poa vile Kaspula linaka kwa same tag ya VC. VC ta amekuwa na fair shares of his ups and downs na wase. Yeah. Unaona? Na even ni bro wangu ndio but siezi mtetea sana on your part. Unaona? Cuz ni kitu najua pia. So ndo alichoma nini? But eh, si, eh, kuna ina depend na what he had with 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 wase when he interact now but for me I was always working maze na jaribu ku bring wase together na jaribu ku hata ka school na kumbuka hata kwa hiyo video ya mapepo do you know video ya mapepo hata visita ange shoot alikuwa sham ka ile design ya rezi ni maze na feeling ngoma na feel kuna ngoma nyingine na yeye ana kunichezea nyingine noma zaidi alinichezea ngoma nyingine tu kisogo noma sana 10 times kushinda hata hiyo mapepo lakini sasa tunashindwa na wanda unaona most of the time he releases his when is with me cause Visita is a perfectionist yani hata mka kesho asubuhi atakwambia obina ile ngoma tulijana ile ya kula kula si noma. Achana na hiyo. Ingine sasa inaitwa tema tema. Na kikuchezea tema tema ni noma za ni kweli kushinda hiyo. So ukiingia hiyo world unaweza kuwa so mimi nilikuwa najaribu kumwona mpaka tuka ndo maana kwa mapepo Mungu animekasre na ruka ruka utadhani yani nataka ifanyike. Acha yishe. Bro ni noma hii. Ni noma mpaka mimi ndio dere na kuja na gari na mrusha dem nini mpaka tumeaka. Ya kutu zile haya. Ali act kama huyo muda anakuja amelewa kwa hiyo video. So Kaspul role yake ilikuwa nini grandpa? Kaspul hakukuwa na role grandpa. Hakuwa na share. Kaspul alikuwa na best yake anaitwa Sadat Muindi. Oh I remember. Then Sadat had an agreement. Had an agreement with Refiga of ya kusaidia wasanii and I was the center stage of Tumie, mimi na sana tena by the way ilikuwa ni Kenrezi so football tournament by Sadat Muindi Grand Prix Records nini nini sa Kenrezi ndio face alafu Papa Dennis Tierajia wote kwa tunaenda oh. nao rest in peace Papa Dennis so i was i was doing all those things kwa sababu najua tunainua hata ukisikia sitoki the first song i did ya grandpa nimetaja grandpa mara tano kila verse inaisha ni Kenrezi na niko grandpa kwa sababu hiyo grandpa first of all ilikuwa jina fani ukiambia msati grandpa records I should eh hiyo jina gani so we had to force it into people's what did you leave i left grandpa kwa sababu ilifika point nilikuwa napata mimi ndio nalipa videos mimi ndio nafanya hizo vitu na unapoweka jina studio eh at least sio hivyo inafika mahali inakuwa ni mmm pia nilikuwa namwambia we are beyond kenya at the point ulifika dawa ya moto na dumbala atuko na fatu wana kuja tu show za Kenya. Jo hata the biggest presenter then akina Jalango akina Tuva all those people walikuwa wananipigia ngoma iko wapi bro so sa kama tayari yeah. every heavyweight wa Kenya analipigia hivyo atufai kwa tukitoa ngoma tukae tu Kenya tuende Rwanda okay. tuende manze jo watu wanaenda and wasafi even nakumbuka damu ndukienda hata kwa page yake mpaka wale wajaitu hiyo video ukienda kwa oldest to newest tuna the first video alikuwa ameka kwa mzazi wanakula and then anaimba hivyo ndo kunaendaga hivi ndio tunakulaga ameka kwa mkeka hivyo anakula so walikuwa na respect to us style nyingine noma unaona so mi ilikuwa tu hata singetoka nilikuwa naambia refiga okay kama na do hizi vitu sioni reason unachukua hii percentage 
Oh, so let's do this. Yeah. Ni kama tu venye unaweza wewe wako kwa media mob to restructure hii cuz yeah, But it wasn't well come. Then the second reason was cuz not many people were not happy. Of which other stories of sita nilikuja kusikia baada ya so hard. Jisi kwa najua napitia hivyo. Cuz unaona sita tulikuwa tukipatana. Ana furai nimekam nime tumepatana nini ndio hiyo. Eh hey, tukule lunch tufanye nini alafu We, lo- we get lost in music yeah. so there's no time to know lizana eh na bro ko poa ke jani ana from the zone is see your friend eh uko fit i saw some Atukuwa videos na. of him i was like yo we didn't have his own moment imagine yeah. so sai yangu iko ndo maana refiga tunaza bonga juu ilikuwa tu business by the way unajua mm. by the way mki mkinini na mse cause just cause of business i'm jealous yeah. imani si mmeko sana Just so business kukua, nothing personal. Me yangu ikufika zile za kina kidi sama za kina nani. Do you feel like leaving leaving grandpa was a, a, a wrong decision because since you left grandpa kidogo the music became tricky. Ara me I blame myself for the breakdown ya grandpa cuz me nilikuwa the biggest artist na na being the person I am right now na venye yeah. na reason sai na na venye tu hata hata naona relationship yangu na red music na venye hata tuna operate na stemo is the CEO na thinking yake ni ile design ya hakuna kitu hatuwezi kaa chini. Okay. But now you know as if it was day bonga men refiga kukuwa anataka meeting yangu na visita na yeye pamoja. Career because they can raise it now. Me I always see can raise I'm like you guys you you do have no idea with these guys. Thank you. Mozart. But most people are just like ah genge tones juu ni niko like no bro I'm do you can raise it now. Na nafurahi yanga niliona tu ulifanya challenge yangu ya hiyo album ya Son of God. Wale yeah. wasa don man. Yeah, na una to album peke yangu na napingia TikTok na unaosha ifanya. No mimi wali kitu kinibamba na songa nayo. So ilikuwa ni ilikuwa ni ile point ya okay grandpa ime imeisha kwa hiyo period genge tone imeingia. The first song I did with the real ile zile vitu that was the first independent song yenye nimelipia kila kitu mpaka mwisho and it was so expensive. Lakini niliona junilijiambia tu ah ka mimi na Avril hata tukicheka kwa hiyo ngoma na tuachi hapo hawawezi lenga so nilijua that was the smartest move after grandpa pigia tu Avril <laughs> alafu mfanye ngoma inaitwa tu zile vitu ngoma fulani tu yenye yeah. title itself yeah but ile effort nilitumia kusukuma hiyo ngoma ili ni click ya there's so much importance of a team so but much. sasa imagine behind my mind nakumbuka kuna album niliacha Jomino ikuisha Aya kuna album nimeacha grandpa sasa hiyo tume split album imeisha ilikuwa inafaa tu itoke tume split album imebaki so na, na count hits zangu okay watu wanaona ni mob but to me wale wasena look up tu wako na 13 albums deep so najiambia as kinrezi bado sijadui kitu so najiuliza okay nataka ku change image lakini nimeshapatia wase rezi kweli so thought na cross kwa mind yangu wacha nipige basi my hits zingine 5 6 ama album mingine na hii look alafu niache unajua <laughs> alafu unapiga Unaona sasa safari na kuwa hard you saw so many things on your by on your own. Yeah. But the image was supposed to change your time. Yeah. Then now when we met with Red Music nikaona damn hapa sasa kuna structure alafu ni wasi wananja. Alafu ni wasi everything ni do iko wapi kwa hii story. Yeah. Alafu ni wasi wa lazima tu market lazima tu alafu mimi kama ukiangalia tu poa sani watu wanyana dupoa kwa streams they are not always the, old, the artist to guest shows every weekend that's true so hiyo ni nice sijui mbona ina happen give me hata atuko tunaangalia anga views grandpa juzi ndo nimeshtuka kumbe vitambi ina 100k views hakuna <laughs> mtu ajui hiyo niko akili yangu ina kuangani iko 10 million yani atuko tunaangalia views juu ngoma yeah. ni tuna tuna concentrate tuna street the actual pushing na hata sasa ina jona boa secos better man wasa anaongelea kila mahali lakini nimekata ku buy views so watu wanaona ukweli yeah. ni kama tu nyash yeah, yeah, how yeah. come nyashinski ana a million followers hata hiyo instagram jo amekata ku do hizo vitu so ana do so ana ana meze share cuz nani ajui nyash <laughs> i was <laughs> no, even told no. by some other major uh, kenyan artists i'll not say who mm. but bro hiyo ngoma ni kali buy views eh ati, ati, ati perception nikamwambia ni 10000 let it be organic ni 10000 people wame watch ama ime play 10000 people ni ni chore ya show na kuambia ukweli nitakuleta hapo watu 2000 na utawaona yes na wao ndio wanaonanga show zangu zote mimi huenda hakunaga hizo sell out ati sijui ati crowd kwa em. watu huko wamejaa hata juzi nimeenda kitale bro mpaka nikabidi nipige show mara mbili yeah unaona na sasa hiyo kuna msiana kuambia bodo umenyamaza wewe umenyamaza uko na bro bodo iko kwa bank <laughs> tunaangalia huko so It took a while. So, so this time now yeah. when I saw okay kuna a perfect team around me yeah. is the right time to gamble because changing an image is a gamble. You don't know what people will say 
watu wanaweza sema azi ah, tunataka eh buda umetoa kofia ni noma but I'm, I, I'm thankful to god kila msema ameniambia buda ukiendelea hivyo ngoma zingine tano kama hiyo it's over so napenda that nimepata positive response because i didn't know what to expect for the first time nilikuwa na butterflies tulikuwa na major siku fulani kwa ndai na so soon tunabonga jo story okay ndo kutoa ngoma wao feeling Meja akasema yo you feel so soon apparently you feel pia before to ngoma kuangana ile kitu ya ile wase wata hiyo hiyo kitu so this time ndo mimi nimei feel man before this album nilikuwa ile ya shit back up butterflies bro you see juu juna juna ni me change yeah, so changed. i didn't know what to expect even yeah. your appearance nimeona sasa hivi masuti mm. kaptula so utava tena kaptula si vai tena hata nataka ubina tu ubina pia uli transform gig time flani ukatoa dreadi i did sasa i'm corporate now sasa wewe pia unafa kwa na kuongelesha daily as a, as a legal advisor mm. pia yeah, uniambie tunaingiaje hizi ofisi za mbia tiki saindo wa kofoti and i make decision man deci- that's true that's all you have to do decision. is knock on the door and, and so, come to their level of image at what does you soon think of your new look eh hiyo siku nilienda kunywa dread na kumkanda record my record ngoma inaitwa better man hiyo yenye imetoka mm. then kwa nimedu ngoma inaitwa maisha the one that speaks of how the economy ya Kenya iko sasa hii umesikia album by the mimi nasikia better man i've not listened to the whole album maze stream after his story utanielewa i will i will there are, then i'll tell you kuna ngoma kwanza inaitwa maisha yeah. so hiyo siku nikatoka studio bila hata kuambia mtu asubuhi ilikuwa na overnight session nikatoka studio nikaenda kwa kinyozi na nikanywa hiyo dread yote sikutaka kuuliza mtu juu ningeuliza wewe si unajua mambo ya dread i know eh watu uko at start ah, ya 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 eh, i like me now i want to shave my hair like yours yeah. but i was probably the worst people for the last one week kana bia hapana 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 niko like no nataka niende chini alafu nianze tena they like no but nilifika home alini hug yani aliniona alini hug with that passion of ata tukuongea alafu watu wangu walifurahi then the, the, the one with five years ajaye ni wanabila nywele so aliniangalia hivi <laughs> akachukua kaa 5 seconds akaniambia you look nice alafu akaniambia you look like a dad <laughs> <laughs> oh god you know you are looking like amekuwa na una gatu msanii eh ambe you look like a dad niko nani ni ni but ni feel too poor that and then red music kila mtu kuniona baadaye waliko ile sasa hiyo sasa hiyo ndo hii album baku kila miwani baka ikakuwa ni sasa hata tavasuti kwa hiyo So mm. now everything now started coming into full circle. Mm. Sangoma zikaanza kuwa hivi album ikaanza ku change the theme, venye okay. naongea, vitu naongea. Cuz now if you are changing hata kuna vitu mob nimesema kwa hiyo album naturally as the can raise who that image people new singer is asema na, na it makes sense at mpaka na video. Una imagine hiyo mm. video ya better man na makaptula hata ingi. <laughs> you don't look like a better man. <laughs> look like a confused man. <laughs> like a confused <laughs> Siko <laughs> ubaya man yeah. but I'm proud of the rezi I was cuz that's who has made me be who I am now na, na pia ndio hiyo akili niko nayo bado kutumia kuandika hizi ngoma yes. but need the right time to do this sai okay yeah. mpaka miwani pia wewe ndo uliamua ma team miwani sasa ni ile najaribu kuweka tu sani nikitoa pia ndaka oluacha catch sana <laughs> Ni kamiani kidogo napiga bling hapa kidogo. Pia si zeta kiko neno bida ile. Si unataka unwacha kesho. Unwacha kesho. Aya tu, aya tu nicheze hapa kwa Kenneth. Kama haya. Kenneth kani mbaya sana ni Kenneth. Eh bana, ni si yeye tena sana. Ni hao watu wao unajua pia. Lazima bado madem wanione wa wa, wa drool. Eh, sasa ndo nilikuwa naambia tulikuwa na bahati juzi na muambia wako kwa shida sasa. Mm. Nataka pia mese sako. <laughs> so hao wamekuwa kilamba ma lips. Wanatoa matata tunaingia gym. Wanaenda kwa tarima. <laughs> Jumbe mimi kuliza hata madem wale wanatoa wananipenda watakuambia ule msee lyrically na stage ni mno. Hakuna dem atakwambia vile yeye uka. Sinaga hiyo. By the stage yoko na energy. Wewe uka stage yote. Nashukuru. So mm. sasa hii nataka Let's let's bring even the 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 looks pia sasa ni venye bado sijajua hata utanishia sana sawa maluku lakini najaribu nda ku link up na style yeah, wase wa wase wa masuti yeah, you know mm. as an artist most people never understand yesterday we were having a very big argument with my producers mm. about Kenyan artists I'll not mention who but it's a boy band mm. they're currently very big but kuna iki chongumu yenye iko kwa system Right, true, true. So I telling my producers you can be kichongumu as an artist but know where to do the line between the show and the business. Mm-hmm. Yes. Ukipigiwa business call whether it's an interview or something there's a way you react to it mm-hmm. na kuna show pia. Yes. Uweze sema mimi na kwa tu mrui mazi. Yeah, yeah. Mimi na kwa mrui kila mahali mazi. Mimi hii ndio image yangu jo. Uwezi. The corporate will go like oh yes huyu tukimpatia brand yetu 
atachoma tukimfanya hivi atachoma so there's a thin line between so like you now you are very big on uh, the songs you are doing but that was the image then mm-hmm. then times have changed so you needed to change with yeah, yeah. so you've changed imagine song ngo na imba hizi ngoma wewe wenyewe tumesema labda ndo unafanya captula mm. umeweka coffee watu wako like hata kwa hiyo album utasikia ngoma inaitwa tufanye tena na kuna ngoma nimefanya na swat yeah. just just saying men na appreciate after mimi you are now the second person who introduced another generation because yeah. mimi pia na tichi aongeza sikia new artist before ilikuwa tu kina nameless nani but tichi liingia hivi then to wave. wait watu wakatokea tu meja nani yokto watu wakatokea yeah. the same thing ethic did with lambalolo kwa na mabundox nani hizo ngoma yeah. tumeduna swat na nani utaona videos ni banga na ni vitu watu wananijua nazo but the way and uh, i present utasema hivi ndio kumbe muziki ya Kenya ilikuwa ienda international yeah. sa, sa unajua sasa inatumia ubuda pia ni kama tu tuna, tunaongea Will Smith na Kevin Hart so you love them both lakini Will Smith ako na ubuda ingine yenye Kevin hata kisimama mbele yake anajua usisauni Will Smith. Usani Will Smith. Kwa sababu true, an, true. atatumia the, the experience you can't teach you can't buy. Yeah. So mimi naelewa ni hii tu teach lakini sasa hii mtaiona level lingine yenye mtaelewa nimefanya nini. Okay. So it, it's all about just knowing understanding your brand and knowing how to play with it. But mimi hiyo kitu ya kujua mali kuji present nimekuwa nayo sana. Hata unaona hii kitu tunadu saa hii Red Music wananifanyia all of the stuff videos nini tutafuta show fanya nini but kuna kitu moja inaitwa interviews niliwaambia na nikawa request sana doa hata tulibishana sana yeah. waniachie nipigie tu awase simu cuz una join people come to take the burden from you ndio usiongee ongea na awase yeah. they want to do their job but mimi niliwaambia nyinyi mabeshte zangu jo True. Wacha nipigie obini, wacha nipigie hawa se juni kiwapigia na all of them sasa funnily enough mazee wana ko excited mazee sawa rezi kesho yeah, kuna yeah. watu mpaka wana cancel eh hey, hey. so, kulikuwa nimebuku mse lakini tutapiga wacha, wacha ni kuonyeshe something no, no. very interesting mm. so there's a show I'm doing on Friday yeah. okay let me just say because when this airs it will have passed you mm. know I thought this was live mm. so on Friday I'm hosting 10 over 10 mm-hmm. So it's something I've wanted to do like my whole life. I've always said I've done every other thing. The only place I haven't worked is Citizen. Yeah. That's Royal Media. Yeah. And I really wanted to do something on Citizen TV, a show. So I'm hosting 10 over 10 on Friday. So they sent me the list of the guests. During the first one I said, look for Kendrezi. He has this new whatever. I can't make Kendrezi alikuwa hapa last week. I'm like, na album imetoka jana. Waje ni kuonyeshe ndo hii. I'm like, yeah. Unajua 10 over 10 niliwapigia hivi. That's why I'm telling and, and it's the producer See, check Kenrezi too. He has a new project. I can't believe he was on the show last week. I'm like, oh, I'm like, and this <laughs> this was today oh, at oh. eight in the morning. So mimi nilikuwa nimejua mazeta kama Kenrezi mazi aruke ruke. So you see me I'm like, unaendelea kuniconfirm me. Yeah, you are my person. Me I'm like, yo, I'll just reach out and say. So me I'm reaching out kumbe the guy Reaching out is good yeah, because yeah. we have a relationship. Kuna wale wase wezi sema unawatumia mali. Because I team yako ipigie tu virtually. Eh, tu bora kwa zile. Come on, bro. Uko na namba yangu. There is no way that call will make him disrespect. I'm I see you in an, a certain level no matter true, what. True. Uh, yeah, the problem of most artists out there kujituma wanafeel. So saying, saying feel... that ilikuwa tu kukurespond your design ya no where to be. Can yeah. raise and where to just lay low and where to just be yeah. humble and where to bring your star. Usifull usifull yeah. superstar kwa mabeshti zako wenyewe. Hata kali ni mlike sana na hiyo kitu. Ile ngoma tulifanya na yeye Papa Wemba. Mm. Kali alitushughulikia kila kitu kila msanii alikuwa anakuja kwa hiyo shoot. Na alafu tukibonga na yeye si ule kali waambia waambia kwenda. Zi, alikuwa so humble. Alikuwa ananiambia venye alikuwa akinisikia yani anakuwa inspired. Yani naangalia huu ni kali man. Unajua yeah. we do, not yani ile Aijalishi nani alikuja fast but at that point alafu namuona na bring very dangerous people kwa beat yake on his height unajua wengine wasema eh ah ni asiezi waleta sasa ile niko zone yeah. anajua un, sisi ni wase tunaweza chukua everything lakini kali aliko ile ya ah, it's an honor man wewe chiwawa visita zaka yes. akatoka kwa song moja na akai push one of my, one of my now my third video with a million plus views yenye niko ndani Yeah. So nilim respect sana for you alafu ni mhumble alafu yani pengine na mmezesha nikisema hiyo side yake ingine ju atakangi watu wa OG calligraphy si mhumble bro respect the OG me <laughs> no but he's a dope he's yeah, a dope human yeah, being yeah, na ndo maana unachukia anaendelea cause he knows when to how to play who yeah. and who at what time so now the new can raise mm. uh, how many songs are in the album 
How many artists? Ni ni ni, ni mm. album kia mwasai hata kusikia ukienda ta. Wase kila mtu ananiambia nimesikiza ni, 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 mara ya tano. Okay. And it flows man. Yaani wana kuambia for real cause. Which artists are on it? Uh, Swat is the is the uh, naweza sema ndo msanii anajulikana. Okay. The one tumefanya na yeye better man aitwa Joe Medit. He's also okay. the producer of all the seven songs and is a new producer. Ndio nakwambia sasa mimi mimi wa gamsi si jajingi wa se bro. Change. Tulipata na na wa new red music Joe Medit bro tabeki album na time make na tamaliza. Okay. And then uh, kuna Kefo Kanali yule alifanya mapema ndo best. Mm-hmm. Na kuna msanii mnyu anaitwa Chulo. Wewe unanijua tu lazima niletage watu wa new. No wonder watu wanipendagi. Huyu atakuja na watu. Huni <laughs> wambogi huyu. Industry at some point inataka yeah. gatu wale watu wanakuja kufungia watu. But sisi tukikam ukinotice tu po every time you are at the top there's always a good feel kwa industry. Diva, yeah. Hatu ingiaji kwa hizi maofisi kuambia watu fungieni wale fungi. Si utaka i, 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 i grow. I grow. Mm. Yeah, where do people get to stream? Uh, the, album. the album is on all streaming platforms kila mahali manze kila mahali except youtube ndo tumeamua tuweke tu the only songs and is gonna a video okay. so kama sayo kingia youtube utapata tu better man na everything to do with better man interviews conversations that is why you song. know me I was on youtube so i have a better man on life mm. the day you, i think the but day I, I just also, brought I also it put a preview like four minutes yeah. ukisikia unasikia all the songs yeah. but nina kutuma mali wende usikie because i realized youtube ukiweka album nzima mtu anasikia ngoma moja hiyo ndio ikimbamba hiyo ndio anaenda nayo alafu even if you put them on a, in a playlist mtu atasikia ngoma kando hapa anaona ubina na pengine ni fano wako asha toka asha move anasonga hapa anaona diamond bana boy asha aliacha na hiyo album ya rezi kitambo so yeah. it's it's a smart place to to keep the uh, the album hyper live yeah. so kama next week but one kuna video nyingine inatoka tena okay. watu wa youtube watabambika nao youtube watakuwa sent again to the album Yes. Then ingine kitoka cuz you have done all the videos. So boom yeah, play Spotify. Kila mali, the whole album is there. Yeah cuz I would want you to listen to it the way we, we, we arrange it. Yeah, you know, get utanielewa. Si utoke track 1 and track 7. Bro utasema ile album ina mchanganyiko fulani. <laughs> so ukisikia vile nimeipanga pia yeah. it's it, it will, it's good. So but iko kila mahali. Then nezambi wasema say obviously kuna watu wana interview to this point tumefika na wame wame enjoy kama ka Jota mean me enjoy. Unazengia tu sikiza manze get your better man as you sikiza tu just dial 8 star 811 star 314 hash nitarudia tena star 811 star 314 hash nasema hivyo ju sikiza bro well, you, if you know you know if you don't hapo ndio kuna hela hapo ndio kuna kakio sikiza hela ya youtube ya 1000 views sijui ndio 3 to bob Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching the Kula Kula show. Asante sana for coming through my brother. All yeah. the best. Nimejua unaenda interview nyingine leo. Hata asante sana kuni squeeze in your busy schedule. I really okay. appreciate. Mm. And uh, all the best with your new image. We'll try support as much as we can mm. to grow to one kuna endelea. We bring back the good vibes. Post you to your video. I will. I will. Not even the whole album. Just yeah. tell guys to go watch the video. I will. Today yeah. I want to go Yoli listen. Ni ni I want to listen to sasa hivi kiingia kwa gari sasa hivi naenda yeah. kustream album nisikize alafu na kwambia rezi hii ndo favorite yangu hata nafanya nao video yake na niseme safi check this out Kana okay sana, man. so you guys will do the same we'll see you guys next time on the same platform and if there's any other person you want to see on this platform on this show let us know in the comment section below like comment subscribe we out